Hi, welcome to the video blog for the set design of Yes Talk or Notes at the End of the Orange Revolution. So, um, this video is some of my favorite footage. Um, so, what you're about to see is, um, so in the last video we were making the wall and assembling it into its its pieces. And in this video, you're gonna see us um, transporting the wall into the space and then hanging the wall. Um, this day was really busy. Again, I didn't get all the footage that I wish I had. <laughs> I need like a cinematographer following me around on these things because like the worst of pressing record and like stopping and taking the time to record. Uh, anyways, so, um, so the first, so what happened today or this day was we woke up super early, Home Depot was open, so we ran over there, got all the rigging stuff we needed to, um, to secure the wall to the lighting grid. So hang it up. Um, then we decided that because we had very little time in the space and we needed to accomplish quite a lot, we were going to attach the whole top of like the whole top piece of the wall together and transport it as one piece and that way we could put the reading points on prior to being in the space which would just save us time and so what that meant was we had to transport this long piece of of the wall on the top of Paul's Toyota Tercel, I think it's a Tercel. So it's the length of the car, and I think it might have even been a little bit longer than the car. Um, and it's about three feet wide, so it's about the width of the car and the length of the car, and it just looks awesome. And so you'll see in the video, as we're driving, it starts to slide, so we got Paul pushed his hand out and like put it back on the track. Um, and then, we got to the space and we then attached the wall. You'll see us attaching the wall and then oh, the camera stopped filming on its own. Timed, it had its like self timer turned off. So I don't have us um, guiding the wall up into position. I, you'll just see a jump from us assembling it in the space to it kind of being hung. So that's a little bit frustrating, um, but I think I have the footage of us taking it down. So you'll see that later on when we're striking it, but um, it was a pretty funny day. And while we were driving the piece, I was trying to get people's, like I had my camera out, and I was trying to get people's reaction to the, what looks ridiculous on the top of a car. And there was like, and I'm like, oh, this is gonna be great. Like we're gonna get some great face shots or people are like, what the heck is that? Um, but then as we were driving, like, no one, no, it didn't, like, there was no reactions, and it almost made it funnier, like, I didn't know how to keep that in the video with it being funny, so that's what I'm telling you, I, I edited those things out, because it was just a lot of me, like, zooming in on people, and people just, like, do, 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 you know, like, and it's like, oh, oh, no big deal, there's just a car driving by with, well, it's like a ton of boxes precariously strapped to the roof of the car. Um, they didn't know they were empty. Like, come on, I was expecting a reaction. Anyways, so it was funny in that nobody reacted to the ridiculousness of this car. Um, so anyways, so that's what you're about to see. Um, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you.